<laughs> Could we get one more mother? Then we come to the side. Mother in front, mother.
sister of one that I should say. You want the green, the green and cream? Alright. Yes, sister, you. Mm.
I'm just giving advance warning. Advance warning. I'm only going to take two more people. I'm going to take my brother down to the back there, who's been standing for a long while, and one of his sisters sit upstairs. Sister, you can go in person. Then our brother down back there, where is it? With the glasses. Yeah. You're going to be, you're going to be the last one. Go ahead, sister. my brothers and my sisters. Wow, this is good. This is good. I, I thank God for being here today. Um, it's, it's been a long ride. We came from the Netherlands, me and my wife, Sister Sandy. It truly is a, it's a privilege and an honor to be here with all of you, um, especially since we came from the other side of the world. And it truly is a blessing to be able to share this with you guys, and obviously with a real apostle sent by God. Again, my name is John. I came with uh, about 30 of us from the Netherlands. Uh, I believe it's about 50 from, the, uh, from Europe. But enough about me. First, when I hear my, uh, my wife's testimony, Greetings. I have a small testimony about how I received the Holy Ghost. Um, uh, Pastor Gino is supposed to be here in, uh, in the Netherlands in 2019. And I was, I get all the tickets and I went to London, um, uh, in whole Europe. And um, I don't know, he was sick or something happened with his daughter. And I was like, oh, why? <laughs> but um, the mindset was, okay, you still can go because you still have the tickets. And um, so I went with my husband. I told him maybe the Lord has something for me when I go there. And um, the first day, uh, 
Maria, Hallelujah. Minister Winston, um, he preached and nothing happened. And we went, uh, that was the last day, I think, so half o'clock in the night. And we uh, gathered together uh, and were singing some songs. And the Holy Ghost fa fell on me. And <laughs> And uh, my husband went jealous, and uh, two months later, he received the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank God for the sister's testimony. Um, I, I, write my, I write mine down because I love to talk. Um, my testimony is um, me and my brother, I'm an identical twin. And um, this testimony goes back to my birth because um, we were born three months too early. So especially 33 years ago, if you were bo born three months too early, then doctors would say you, you, you won't stand a chance. And that's what they said. They said that if we would survive, we would be, I wrote that down because I don't know the English word for that, severely disabled. So obviously, I, I didn't know anything about it at that time. <laughs> but um, at some point, I'm, I'm starting to do well. You know, I, the reflex you have when you're grabbing your mom's finger, that all happened to me. But my brother, he was in a bad, bad shape. And um, at some point, my parents, they were talking to each other and thinking, how long should we go on with this? Because he's not making any progress. He's not getting any better. So at some point, they, after having the long discussion, and, and seeing me getting better and better, they thought, you know what, we might want to call the hospital and, you know, maybe we should stop the treatment. And because, yeah, they, they were, they didn't know what to do. So at the time they called the hospital, um, the hospital said to them, because they said, you know what, we, we might want to cut the treatment. And the hospital said, well, we actually already stopped with the medication because we don't, we don't see this going well. But then God stepped in. And you know what happens if God steps in. And it's been a blessing because he, he's still in the world, though, but he's all healthy physically as much as he can be. So thank God for that, brothers and sisters. All right, next up, we have the program. We're first going to start off with a musical selection by the First Year's Band. Give them a hand.
Please, brothers and sisters, give them another round of applause. All right, um, next up is the uh, choral selection by the International Mass Choir.
Ladies and gentlemen, give them another round of applause. All right, something came through real quick. There was a Honda Civic license plate 21BNVI. And another car, it's a Dutch brand, Volkswagen, uh, plate number AOA1T5A. If you don't take your car away, they will be towed. So please keep that. Uh, I will call the license plate again 21BNV1. That's a Honda Civic. I don't know what state that is now. And a Volkswagen IHA, plate number AOA1T5A. All right. Um, at this time, we will turn the service over into the hands of uh, Mark Moreni. Greetings, brothers and sisters. We are here. Y'all could do better than that. We here. Wonderful, wonderful. We here. Wonderful. Hallelujah to God. Wonderful. Wonderful. Seemed like this whole week I've been thinking about, I know many remember when Pastor Jennings taught that message and said, some people would not see this day. We here. Welcome to First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ. We're celebrating 35 years of the men's and the 37th Women's Holy Convocation. We will also be dedicating this temple upstairs tomorrow for be God's will. Uh, the first, uh, oh, as always, we want to continue to keep Pastor Jennings in your prayers, as well as his family. We want to pray for the brothers that labor along with them and their families. We want to continue to pray for the sick, the shut-in, those that were unable to make it out. We want to pray for them. As always, we want to pray for one another. First announcement, uh, this comes from the transportation team. It says, for all those, for those who are returning to the hotels and the parking lot from headquarters, the first church bus that's bringing people back and forth to the headquarters, uh, to the hotel, and also to the parking lot, it says that the shuttle service will be on 4th Street. All other temples and your bus will be on 5th and Lindley. Again, those strictly from headquarters or those getting uh, back, going back and forth to the hotel will be on 4th Street. All other temples, your buses will be on 5th and Lindley. Next announcement. Uh, this is the First Church Calendar Fundraiser from the Youth says the youth choir would like to thank everyone who pre-ordered their calendars. Calendars are now available for pickup after the service in the gymnasium. Uh, we have a limited supply for sale, and it says they're $20. Again, we thank you for your support. Next announcement, we ask that you listen closely to this one. If not, you do not want to be left and not be able to get, make it back to the airport. Amen? I ain't, okay. All right. Um, it, says, uh, it says, the first church shuttle service drop-off times on Sunday, December 31st, uh, 12 p.m. from headquarters to Philadelphia Airport, the rail, and the bus stations. That's Megabus and the Greyhound. At 3 p.m. from headquarters to the Philadelphia Airport, that's the rail and the bus station, the Megabus and the Greyhound. Again, you will get picked up on 4th Street entrance. On Monday, January 1st, the first church shuttle service is drop-off times. Pickups are from the following hotels, Courtyard, Hilton, Homewood Suites, and the Residence Inn on City Avenue. 4 a.m. from the listed hotels to the Philadelphia Airport, the rail, and the bus station. 6 a.m. from the listed hotels to the Philadelphia Airport, rail, and the bus stations. 9 a.m. from the listed hotels to the Philadelphia Airport Rail and Bus Station. And 12 p.m. from the listed hotels to the Philadelphia Airport Rail and Bus Station. It says, for the Delta Hotel, please utilize the hotel shuttle service for the airport drop-off. Again, 
those that are staying at the Delta Hotel, they have a service already provided for you. So utilize that hotel shuttle service to be able to get back to the airport. And the last announcement, uh, this comes from actually sister, uh, I always mess your name up, sis, I'm sorry, in advance. Sister Lassania Price from the Jamaica area, I hope I said that right. She wants to thank whoever, whatever brother or sister it was, her pocketbook was left outside and we in Philadelphia. <laughs> Can I get an amen? amen? Her pocketbook was left outside and one of you sincere brothers and sisters gave it to the security, so she certainly wanted to thank you for that. Again, that's a blessing. That will conclude the announcements at this time. We turn the remaining portion over to our media director, Elder Dan Thompson. All right. All right, greetings, everyone. Greetings, everyone. I'm not sure if you can hear me or not, but the microphone doesn't sound like it's on. Audio, audio. Greens, everyone. No audio. Greens, greetings. That's better. Here again, we say peace be unto you. We're so very grateful again that God has blessed us to be back in the house of prayer another time. Uh, we are so very grateful. We thank him always and we give God always the highest honor and due respect uh, because he certainly is the creator of all things and the giver of all life and breath. Uh, we thank him so much uh, for what he's done for us and how he's blessed us to this very present hour. As you can see, we're upstairs on the main sanctuary here on 5105 North Fifth Street. We can say the truth that God has done great things for us. Whereof we are glad. Uh, we're only here because of the blessings of God. Is that right? That's right. My God, we thank Him, we praise and adore Him above all things because He's the only wise God. And it's only because of His permission that each one of us still have breath within our bodies. Uh, we want to certainly welcome uh, everybody here to this, our 35th men's convocation, I believe it is, and the 37 women's Holy Convocation is being celebrated concurrent with the uh, dedication of this place. This place belongs to God. Amen. We're so grateful God has blessed us all to assemble here. Uh, today will be a historic day. It's the first time that we're assembled here in the upstairs assembly and 5105 North 5th Street, and again, we have God to be praised and God alone. And we thank him so much. We certainly want to extend a very, very warm welcome to all that are here and have come from many different parts of the world. Uh, we're certainly grateful for you, uh, but certainly uh, we cannot overlook, my God, by no means, all the deceased prophets of old and the apostles, my God, that God alone is ordained to be a... Uh, messengers of this one truth and uh, we certainly are thankful for the word that was delivered by them uh, through and by the Holy Ghost because it's the same message that we're hearing today my God we certainly are very grateful for our dearly beloved brother and pastor Pastor Jennings you know Pastor Jennings has uh, been laboring for a long time and uh, we are so grateful that God has given him this work to do and he has not been disobedient, my God, to the vision that God gave him. Uh, when the other day occurred and uh, he had an illness that popped up on him, uh, it troubled me greatly uh, because I know he's such an important, my God, being that needs to be in the earth. But we're thankful to God that God has given good recovery. We're so grateful for that. And we give due respect always to the other minister and brethren that are here with us. My God, those who are able to make it and those who are not, we thank God for you always. But again, we want to welcome everybody, especially those who have traveled from other parts of the world, uh, all the way from Australia, I do believe. Some are here and some from the Netherlands, uh, other parts of Europe, those from Canada, the, uh, throughout the Caribbean, 
My God, wherever you are from, we thank God that this one message, this one message, this one message has been beckoning to you and will continue to beckon to others as God permits. Now, the world is in turmoil, but I can see clearly that God is hasting this work. It is moving quickly because it's needful. Is that right? If you're on board, stay on board. Stay on board. If you're double-minded today, get a single mind. Stay on board. Is that right? As always, we're going to give way to one or two brothers. My God, that you may listen carefully to them. We'll ask for a few remarks. Then we're going to call upon our leader to give us the evening message. Minister Ferguson from the Bahamas. God is great, and he is always great, and he will always be God. I'm so grateful this evening to be um, in this building, and I'm grateful for the opportunity to have met a general overseer in 2014, and I was thinking when I entered this uh, sanctuary for the first time, I remembered when we met the very first time after we have finished speaking to each other for about an hour and a half, two hours, he said to me, I have something I want you to see. I was wondering, what was that? We met for the first time and you have something for me to see? Well, I went along and he told me, he said that um, I'm thinking of purchasing a building and I want you to give me your opinion on it. Tell me what you think. And we drove from Frankfurt Avenue. We came down at Main Street there. He drove around that way, he took a loop. And then he took a second loop, and at the end of this corner, in the back here, he said, tell me what you think. And I said, go for it. He said, you say go for it? <laughs> I said, yes, I said, go for it. And when I came, I think it was a few years later, we were in the gymnasium, and the gymnasium brought me a rebirth. I was healed in the gymnasium. A message that he preached, I know he didn't know what I came to that particular conference for. I came to see him on a particular matter and the Lord had spoken to me while I was praying one morning and the same scripture that came to me while I was praying, that's the scripture that he preached from in the gymnasium. And that night, I got healed physically. I got healed physically, emotionally, and there were wounds I had for years that won't heal. But that night, I heat started from the top of my head, went straight to the, my feet. When I got back in the hotel, I stood up in the front of the mirror and I knocked myself like this. I said, is this really me? Because I was healed. And then, coming here in this building tonight, and 
seeing a stranger who asks my opinion, what do I think? And I said, go for it. And tonight the Lord allowed me to be here standing in the completion of a renovated structure that was a center for idol worshipers. And now the building is renovated, will be dedicated to the honor and glory of God. Amen. It gives me a level of satisfaction, deep, deep satisfaction, to be here this evening along with Pastor Jennings, two strangers who had never, as a matter of fact, I think we have to introduce tonight because we have never introduced ourselves. The moment he saw me, we went upstairs and he said, sit down, what you got to say? And we never introduced. Up to that day, we never introduced. But I am so grateful to say to God be the glory, and I wish to say to Pastor Jennings, I congratulate you, not from my words, but I congratulate you from the bottom of my heart. I don't know what it is that you saw in me that day, but when you asked me, what do you think? Should I go for it? And I said, yes. And all he did was nod his head. And today, it's a reality. It's a reality that both of us, the Lord allowed us to live to see a vision that has come through. And I'm glad that I am here, not as a stranger this time, not as a stranger, but as a full member of First Church of our Lord Jesus Christ International. And you know, where there is church and where there are more than one persons, there will be difficulties and conflict. But I can assure you, that I believe in Pastor Jennings' leadership. And because of that, we may go through earthquakes and storms and whatever, but by God's help, I will be somewhere trying to lift him up, either to hold up his hands or to pull up his socks, because I believe in his ministry and I believe that it is a purpose why the Lord have me here at this particular moment, standing behind the podium to see the vision of some of a stranger that I met. And really and truly, you know, when I met him in 2014 that day, I had no idea that I would become a part of First Church. I just wanted to meet the person who was preaching what I have been preaching for the past 40 years. When I met him in 2014, the message what he preaches back then, I've been preaching that same message for 40 years. And when I met him, my only purpose at that time was to talk with him to see if there was a way that we could work together. But tonight, I have a deep, 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 very deep satisfaction. And I give God thanks that he allowed me to meet a minister, meet brothers and sisters who believe what I believe to the glory of God. Thank you very much.
Thank you, Minister Ferguson from the Bahamas. Uh, we're going to call on one other brother. We're going to ask him to be very brief, and then we'll get to Pastor Jennings. Minister Shabazz. Greetings, saints. We greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ, the one God to whom all praise is due forever. We thank God for the former prophets and apostles of old. Thank God, sir, for Pastor Jennings. Thank God for this way of holiness. It's good to be here. I mean, it's good to be here. Some of you don't know me, I'm from Mobile, Alabama, where we have strict devils down there. And they're fighting us hard. But holiness is an invincible shield. It's invincible. We've heard a lot since we've been this, in this way, and <laughs> we had some to say that this day would never come. Yes, sir. Got over the air and different things said this day would never come. Yeah. It's here. Amen. It's here. Yeah. And it's beautiful. Yes, it's beautiful. Yeah. Mm. I just, I, I'm glad to be here. I'm, I'm thankful to be here Amen. today. So much have been said, so much have been done, but the word have been standing, it's keep standing, and it's going to always keep standing. <laughs> Pastor Jenna have never changed. Teachings have been the same. People have been coming in when they said they wouldn't. People are coming and, and seeing all the ministering brothers growing and the strength amongst the brethren has been stronger and stronger. Ain't that wonderful? Oh, yeah. I got a confession to make, though. When... <laughs> When he showed us the temple, and we came in here, it looked dark. It was dark, and when he went to saying what he was going to do, I'm looking at the balcony back there when he said he was going to put a balcony. I didn't say nothing. <laughs> but in my mind, see, I couldn't see like he could see. I don't even pretend to. But I said, man, it ain't be about five or six people be able to sit up there. <laughs> But, but when he went to talking, I said, uh-huh, mm-hmm. <laughs> he had the vision. And when Dan used to, I'm sorry, Dan, I'm, I'm, finna, I'm finna stop. One more thing, one more thing. Brother Dan used to get over the air when we first started hearing pastor, and he would get up speaking different languages. <laughs> pastor Gino Jennings. Frankfurt Avenue. <laughs> and I used to want Dan, I love my brother, but I used to want Dan to shut up. I did. I wanted Dan to stop talking so we can get to the word. Even though I didn't like Pastor Jenner. I didn't want to hear that, but I heard it. I was like, I want to hear it. I'm not going to listen no more. I'm going to hear it. I don't want to. Kept going back and forth. But at the time, I didn't understand. Dan speaking no different language. Now you got people from the Netherlands, Europe, all over the world. He spoke of that vision, and he didn't move from it. And I thank God for Pastor Jennings. I thank God for being here today. Keep Mobile in your prayers. All right, saints, we do thank God always for all the ministering brothers from all over the world. As you can see, uh, the work is uh, growing and is not going to stop growing. Is that right? Scripture says the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end. Is that right? All right, God, we thank God for you always, saints of God. We always want to remind you uh, whenever we have a gathering like this 
of the purpose uh, that we're gathered together. And uh, it's so very important that no soul lose sight of the journey that you're on. Uh, many times, uh, because the crowd is big and the work is getting bigger, uh, sometimes some may lose sight of the true meaning of what's happening. You are simply part of something great. Some may not realize it now, but later on they will. Take full advantage of God's word while it's present in your day. Is that right? If you're still waiting on God for the Holy Ghost, go after God with all your strength. My God, because God is coming. And there will come a day when there'll be no more conventions here on the earth. But there will be a convention in the air. We don't want to miss that. Don't want to miss that at all, do we? So at this time, from the upstairs sanctuary for the first time, December the 30th, the year 20 and 23, our leader, teacher, guide, and messenger, and ambassador of the Almighty God, the Apostle, Pastor Gino Jennings. What a mighty God we serve. Yes, what a mighty God we serve. As angels bow before them, heaven and earth, what a mighty God. Yes, what a mighty God we serve. Yes, what a mighty. Yes, angels. with him, there is no God besides him, there is no God other than him. He is and he was and shall forever be God alone. He have no equals and he have no rivals. We thank him for being the true sender of holy prophets and of holy apostles. We thank him for the way of holiness revealed to his servants for our learning. Well, I have to say like the scriptures, it is good for us to be here. <laughs> to you that are watching, I'm glad to say that this broadcast is coming from the main auditorium of our international headquarters temple. Let us all stand and give God Almighty a hand. God made it possible. Hallelujah, thank you. God made it possible. Amen. Amen. Thank God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Glory to God. Now, this broadcast is dedicated to all the Truth of God followers, you that are here, and 
And to you that desired to make it and couldn't, here in America and in the foreign countries, we thank God for all of you. To all of our ministers, them that are here, we thank God for them. We done been ran out of room a long time ago. The lower auditorium is crowded, the gymnasium, gymnasium is crowded, and well, they can go without saying here. But the mighty hand of God have done so much for the church. When we first brought the sinks in from Frankfurt Avenue, this place didn't look nothing like this. It was dark and gloomy. With some strange yellow looking walls. There was no balconies over here. The back balcony where they're sitting, it was a large pipe organ. That's where the Catholic choir was sing. There were so many statues and idols and images before and behind. Some people came in here and they thought the stone was always here. No, our contractors worked and put it on from floor to ceiling. We worked every day and worked every night. God gave us some good help. I mean some good help. Electrical engineers and all type of engineers and stone masons and sound technicians and everything. We was here every day and every night. This podium that have me all boxed in <laughs> was sitting to my right, as many Catholics and Lutheran churches are designed. We had to get an indoor crane because I don't care how many men you have, you couldn't lift this or move this. Had to get an indoor crane and bring it over to get it where it positioned and it's just beautiful the way everything came out. Yes, yes. Amen. Many was asking us when we was telling them how it would look and the design I had in mind, is that possible? I brought my architect in and I sketched out balconies on both sides. And he said, that's impossible. I said, I'll tell you what you do. Give me your drawing. Give me what you draw and I'll critique it. He said, you will critique me? I said, yes. He had the stairs running a different way. And if it ran that way, it would have been a violation. I took his blueprint and took some, a pencil and started re-sketching. He said, I never thought it that way. I said, this will work. He took it back to the city and they approved it. Amen. So where, what you're looking at now, I say like the queen said to Solomon, the half has not been told. You know, many, when I begin to tell them about the vision, they couldn't see it and can't see it. Amen. Maybe this little bit will help you believe <laughs> that with God all things is possible. We are thanking God moreover because God himself is making it possible. There are some things that we still have to critique and our new entry doors that we designed. Well, I was hoping they'd be here before this convention, but just so happened they called me this week, they'll be here after the convention. So God willing, next Wednesday, that'll be done. 
The new entry doors will all go in. The doors to the new studio will all go in. I'm telling you, it was a lot of work put into this. It's what I call a labor of love. Now, we have a lot of more work to do. We don't want you to look at the natural things and lose sight on what God purpose is. God purposes that men live holy. And when I look at so many of you and you that I can't see in the gymnasium and in the lower, lower auditorium, I'm glad that the technicians and the engineers put their head together now all three areas can see the meeting at the same time. Amen. Amen. Now we got some announcements to make. We ordained some more elders for today. When I call the brother's name, I'm going to ask them to stand. Brother James Wright of Newport News Temple. <laughs> Elder Tyrone Singletary of Fredericksburg Temple. <laughs> and Brother Shabazz of Mobile Temple. Elder James and Elder Singletary and Elder Shabazz, by me ordaining him an elder, he's going to upset Mobile. <laughs> Amen. I know Mobile will be so upset. Now we appointed some, some overseers to be overseeing certain states. I'm only one man. Even though I'm your general overseer, I cannot be everywhere. Only God can do that. And I need brothers with scriptural know-how and have eyes on the ground because I'm traveling around the world building. Building to the glory of God so thousands in my lifetime can walk with the one God of heaven. That's what we're laboring for. That God Almighty in our lifetime be glorified. The truth of God is designed of God to glorify God. And let the world know that there's only one God. This is what we want the world to know. There's only one God here. And uh, he have no partners. He have no rivals. He have no equals. And with the help of Almighty God, we're going to push this thing as far as we can with God's help. And with the help of the ministers, we want to push it in every town, every country, every village. I don't care how small or how large. We want to push this gospel everywhere. Yes. Amen. Now, we appointed so far two brothers to be the overseers of the Midwestern states. That's on board so far. Elder Etheridge of Detroit. <laughs> along with Elder Jennings of Minnesota. <laughs> now, these states will include Minnesota, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Michigan, and Missouri so far. Because the way the gospel is, all you got to do is just go there one time because the people are hungry. They are hungry and they're ready. 
Glory to God to walk with God's word. Now, the overseer for the state of North Carolina and South Carolina, so far, will be Elder Jones. Yeah. We're going to give him some help. We're going to keep searching and give him some help So, because North and South Carolina are some large areas. And uh, we're going to give him some help so he don't be out there all by himself. And uh, so far, for the overseer of the state of Virginia is Elder Fletcher. Now, these are not the only states where the work of God is. We have the West Coast. We have other areas of the South, like, like Texas and Florida and Kansas. And we have other areas, I believe, in the Midwest, Oklahoma. There's just so many areas that God is adding daily. And I'm glad that we can not just quote that, but can see God doing it. <laughs> Amen. When I look at, thank God, all of you, and them that I can see, I remember when it was just 12 to 15, meeting in the basement. and was down there for five years. My mother would often tell me, son, I hope I live to see you upstairs. Well, she's living and we upstairs. I wanna thank, I wanna thank the convention committee if you look at your program, it's so far the best program that's put together. Amen. It's truly something that you can hold on to. Many elders that have passed on and many saints, pictures that we have, some of them you've never seen. Some of them you never met. But uh, to see the pictures of the basement and from there to Briar Road and then Frankfurt Avenue and then here. Well, the question is where we go from here. When we were seeking a new headquarters temple, the, I prayed and asked God for at least 150 to 175 to 200 square feet of property. Schools around the city went up for sale and I figured perhaps I'd venture out for one and I didn't know it was so difficult. 300,000 square feet, 200,000 square feet. There was a whole lot of red tape. Then the announcement came over the air how the Catholic diocese was selling off property, you know, because they need the money for their lawyers. <laughs> because there was a back pocket convention going on. <laughs> so when I came here in 2014, like Bishop Ferguson mentioned, I totally forgot that I brought him to the property and we drove around outside. But when I first saw this property in 2014, I walked around and them that came with me, we came on the inside, there was idols here. My brother Rick said, Gene, this is huge. He asked me, don't, don't you think this is too big? I said, no. I said, if you want to know the truth, because of what God showed me, it's not big enough. <laughs> Amen. So we walked around the property and 
looked at it. Now you look at it, it looked like it shrunk. <laughs> but in 2014, I remember praying while I was here and asked God, give it to your people. All of them that venture out for it, we ask God, don't let one get it. Reserve it for us. And there have been several organizations that tried to get it. Millionaires that were developers had the money on spot. But because the Catholics wanted to remain as a church, they wouldn't sell it to them. To them, they turned down the money. We didn't have the money. <laughs> I think of how we didn't tell you about it till two years later. I saw it in 2014 and I waited and waited and waited and hesitated and prayed and kept praying. I said, look, let me as well bring these folks in here. So one Sunday, in fact, that picture's in the program. When a few hundreds of, a hundred of us came in here, looked around, the podium was over there, and I went over there and just stood and looked at their faces. Oh, they were so happy. So we made a call to everybody. Sacrifice $1,000. This property, they wanted 3.5 million. We didn't even have a million. <laughs> then uh, I gave them an offer, and we still didn't have the money. They accept the offer. All the new windows up there wasn't like that. It was all stained glass with cartoons on them. And uh, they said, we want the windows. I said, fine, you can have them. But you have to deduct from the price. I wasn't no fool. I knew what the value was. They took all, almost a half a million off the price. And then after that, the Catholic Church didn't know. I knew how they operate. Because all the marble around the wall, what Catholic organization does, they rip it off the wall. Leave all the walls unprepared, but hold and barren. I said, don't take nothing. Leave it there. They said, but you have to let us take our altar. I said, well, if you want it. And every Catholic church, they have an altar. There's a department on the altar, a little square that's made to come up in every Catholic church. In that altar is a bone of human remains of somebody that died in that church, a nun or a priest. So when I came and looked at the place, I remembered it and lift up the altar. And there was a bone there. I picked it up and said, what you gonna do with this? <laughs> they said, Reverend Jennings, that's sacred. I said, all right, well. I threw it back in there. I said, you can have your altar. The priest, the original priest of this church was buried on the grounds. I said, we want the church. We don't want the priest. They say, we got the, I say, you got to move them. Dig them up. They say, but he been down there. I say, I don't care how long he been there. Dig him up. He don't come with the church. Amen. We have a high priest that abide forever. So then, I didn't know when they were going to do it. The way I found out, I was in the barber shop, and it was in the Philadelphia Inquirer that they dug the priest up. 
Laying on his chest was a solid, large gold cross, and they forgot it was there. But they dug him up. Where he was buried, that is where the wall is. The wall we built out there with the circles on it. That's exactly where he was buried. So now I'm praying for the large school on 4th Street. We've been run out of parking. Y'all focus killing the grass of the church. <laughs> but we are going after the school in back of us. That's about 150 to 175,000 square feet. And I'm praying that God bless the church with it so we can tear it down and build a high-rising parking garage. Now, the next project on this campus is to get the cafeteria up and running. That's what we're working on. So we're not done. Still here every day, every night, the work, the electrical engineers is already laying cable. And the city will require of us to put a sprinkler system. That building is over 50,000 square feet. And I remember when we had to put a sprinkler system in the Baltimore building, that was 6,200 square feet, and they wanted 100 and about 150,000 we had to pay out then. This is 50,000 square feet. I know they're gonna want probably a half million to install a sprinkling system because the cafeteria is attached to the original old school. The old school we plan on converting to the first church Truth of God senior citizens home. <laughs> Amen. That way the old mothers and old brothers, they can come out of their living quarters and strut the church any hour they want and pray in here. Thank God, keep the fire going. Amen. So there's a lot with the help of God that's being done, but don't ever lose focus by looking at the success of the church and to blind you to the purpose and the reality of God. Amen. God's purpose is that men and women be saved. Amen. And we are working towards that purpose, to wake them up. Thank God, wake them up everywhere. So you that are watching, you're welcome to come. We'll be dedicating it in prayer tomorrow. Amen. So you better come early like you did tonight. I was here for the minister's meeting and there were some folk coming in. I said, can I help you? They said, we come to go in the church. I said, church hasn't started yet. They said, we here early. <laughs> and God's sisters was coming in with babies and strollers claiming they see. <laughs> you know, when you're in something good, it make you feel good. Just to know that our church, hallelujah, thank God. To know that our church going and our believing and our preaching, thank God, is not in vain. But we can warn men and women everywhere of the things of God that everybody may understand God's purpose. All right, let's go to work in the Bible. Bible says, take heed, lest there fall in you a spirit of unbelief. I believe in the book of Hebrews. The book of Hebrews. All right, let's give William some power. I didn't think I would have to have this conversation. 
All right, Williams, put the microphones down to your mouth when you look down. When you look down. Bend it down. Right where your mouth is. All right, let's hear it. Hebrews chapter I don't three. hear him. Hebrews. Yeah. All right, now. All right, Pastor. Let's have it. Hebrews chapter 3 and at verse 12. Thank God that sounds good to my Holy Ghost here. <laughs> Take heed, brother. Take heed, brethren. Lest there be in any of you. Lest there be in any of you. An evil heart. What kind of heart? An evil heart. It's not clean. It's not filled with the Spirit. It's not sanctified. Get me? It's not holy. And God Almighty is warning us, church, brethren, that got everybody, every man and every woman that claim they walking with God. Take heed, brother. I want you church folk that are watching to listen because the religious world has fell from God long before I was born. This is where we're at now. They have went backward. And besides getting closer to God, they have chose Satan above God. So now the so-called Christian is a shame to be Christ-like. The preachers are more concerned of being celebrities. Am I right, I said? They want to be celebrities and not be looked at as men of God. So therefore, they try their best to blend in with the sinner. That's right. As I said before, so I say now again, God's people must accept the fact that God purpose for us to be different. That's right. And that ye may put difference. That's what God purpose is. That's right. We walk different. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God. Thank God our talk is different. Our church worship is different. That's right. No so-called Christian co comedians here. No. No Christians dating clubs. You see, years ago, church organizations, many of them, had somewhat of a Bible standard. There was a form of strictness. But because the world had become so appealing to the so-called Christian, God been placed at the bottom of the totem pole right. because the so-called churchgoer is now too concerned how he and she look. Thank God in the eyes of the sinner. That's right. I have NBA players that come here from the National Basketball League, NFL players, from the National Football League, rap artists, all type of people, men and women. That's right. But I'm not hanging out with none of you. That's right. God sent us to preach to you. God had never sent his servant to hang out with you. That's right. The Bible said, if you want to hang out, come thou with us. With us. And we are do you good. Do you good. There must be a separation. That's right. Did you hear what I'm talking? That's right. There must be. Must be. A separation between good and evil and God and Satan and holy and unholy. That's right. 
When there is a separation, you don't mingle to get along. The first one that you're concerned about, acceptance. It's not whether people will accept you or not. It's whether God will accept you or not. Thank God when the apostles was here, many did not accept them. In fact, when the Lord finally waked up Brother Paul, none of the apostles except Paul, thank God but Barnabas. Because of Paul's reputation, his reputation was evil until God got a hold of him. So now, look at yourself. Glory to God, glory to God. I am not looking by any means to please or to be accepted by the world. Right. The world has to choose God's way. Right. And when you choose God's way, you must change. That's right. You cannot say you're saved with a cigarette in your mouth. That's right. Am I right, I said? You cannot say you're saved and you're making music with rappers and entertainers. That's right. You cannot say you represent Christ when sinners who are movie stars are chief spokesmen for your church. That's right. We don't need sinners to speak for us. God speaks for us. That's right. Jesus said, thank God it is not you that speaketh, but the voice, hallelujah, glory to God, the voice of my Father, thank God that speaketh in you. So to be accepted by God is a lifestyle of self-denial. And when you deny self, you give God gratification because you agree to sanctification. Are you listening? Listen at this now. Back in Hebrews chapter 3 and verse 12. Yes. Take heed, brethren. Take heed, brethren. Lest there be in any of you. In any of you. Any of you. You're singing now. You're shouting now. But I advise you to take heed. Take heed. Dan and I often talk. And one thing we both agree on, that 10 years from now, we hope to see each other in this. 20 years from now, I'm looking at some that been in this from the day I started. And you know how good that felt? We are able to look back. Yes, sir. We was in the basement. Just 12 to 15 of us, we used a pot of boiling water yes, to heat the basement while the pot was boiling in the back kitchen. Amen, and sometimes you're on your knees praying and the pipes were sweat. And the water would leak and hit your leg and you look. <laughs> you thought something was on you. Heavy rains would take place and water would come in the basement, mud. Sometimes, this is Sunday morning, we would get up early in the morning, seven o'clock in the morning, cleaning the basement up, prepping it. Thank God for wish up. Turn the fans on so the floor can get dry. God took us out of there and took us to Briar Road a uh, recreation part of an Episcopalian church. It was there God put us on the air. And I prayed and asked God, give me 10 stations this year. We just got over the air. I asked God for 10 stations, radio stations, with an hour on all of them. For that year went out, God gave us 11 and an hour on all of them. I remember our first international station was shortwave. 
WWCR. And I remember when we were broadcast, I, look, I think of that now. We would have a little radio box, a little radio with a cassette tape recording while we make a broadcast. And we was all gathered around the radio to catch our first broadcast. The short wave was 30 minutes, and our night broadcast, local in Philadelphia, WTMR, was an hour. And we, that's still on now. Many folks forget, but it's still on. And then God bless us on Frankfurt Avenue. Thank God he put us on television. I was fought against tooth and nail. But we followed the leading of the Spirit. Amen. And when we got over the air, God started working. Oh, yes. And now I look. We're not beating the air. We're not just over the air talking with no results. How God Almighty is taking this gospel in any city, every city, any country, every country, any town. And he guarantees the truth of God 100% victory. You preachers out there that are listening, if you're wise, Break up your church. The Lord is coming. All that comedy club and praise dancers in church and twerking in church and all that foolishness. Let's come back to what the word of God says. Thank God. Everybody must come back to Bible. Everybody. Everybody. And when you come back to God's word, you will understand that he declared, I'm the same right. yesterday and today. Thank God and forevermore. What did he say, son? Take heed, brethren. Take heed, brethren. Lest there be in any of you an evil heart. Of what? Of unbelief. I want to keep believing everything God said. If you're not up to it, Believe it. believe it. If you're sick, believe what God says. If you get weak, you believe what God says. Trouble in your house, believe what God says. Don't ever allow yourself to disbelieve or question the reality of God. I think of many that have turned on God and got all type of strange beliefs out here. Blaspheming God. Do you know the blaspheme towards God is forever increasing? The music world. Want to make music where they're blaspheming God. Everything got on strange roads and hoods and dancing to uh, Satan's uh, uh, a star and whatnot and dancing and shaking and the so-called Christians are trying to follow it. That's right. When I came up, they used to say that the church is a light to the world. Church ain't no light to no world. No. World is a light to so-called church. That's, right. That's why everybody wants to be like the world. Now, the problem with the so-called churches, they claim they want God and they want the devil. They don't want to let one go. That's right. God says, choose ye this day. You that are listening, you that are watching, you got to choose. Choose. Go to God, you can't have both. That's right. Nobody can have both. That's right. You either want God or you want Satan. And if it seem evil unto you. The Bible says, if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, to serve the Lord, choose you this day. Make a choice whom ye will yeah, serve. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Right. Make a choice, listeners. That's right. That's right. Look at yourself. That's right. If it wasn't from God, you would have been cut off. Oh, yeah. Why do you find it so hard to choose God? Choose. 
This is close to New Year's Eve tomorrow. Many of you that are watching, uh, you're on your way to your party. You're getting prepared to dance and get drunk so you don't remember your birthday the next day. That's right. You lose your self-identity. That's right. Many of you preachers going to take the church hall and rent it out oh, yes. to the neighborhood so they can party this weekend. That's right. It's time for God's people to buckle down. God is coming. That's right. You so-called preachers must stop this playing with God. There was a so-called renowned bishop on some talk show, and there was a male stripper dancing and twerking. And the so-called bishop standing up looking at him, grinning. My Lord. Why he shake his narrow behind in the bishop's face. My lord. He bishop got excited looking at him. Mm. Grinning. That's not for God, people. No. How can you be like this? <laughs> there got to be a separation. That's right. God's church should never imagine the truth of God being called. Geno Jennings Entertainment. Mm. They ain't God's church. No. That's mm. why the church can never be named after the preacher. That's right. Never. Never. The church must be named after the builder. That's right. And the builder declared upon this rock. Yes, Didn't they say so? That's right. I build my church. My church. My church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against you. Hallelujah. No. Gates of hell shall not, shall not prevail against it. Shall not prevail against it. That's right. Now, that don't mean that hell won't fight the church. That means that hell will never defeat the church. That's right. So the church had to take heed. Take heed, brethren. Brethren, lest there be in any of you. Any of you. Any of you. Any of you. It doesn't matter if you're speaking in tongue now, jumping and shouting now. Uh, you better take heed. Take heed. Lest there be in any of you. Lest I don't care whether you're mm -hmm. a musician, preacher, teacher, deacon, lay member, mother. That's right. Pay attention. Take heed, brethren. Where is your heart? Heart. In God. That's it. What position is it in? That's right. How much of your heart do God have? That's right. Take heed. Take heed, brethren. Lest what? Lest take there be in any of in you, any of you an evil heart. An evil heart of unbelief. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Of unbelief. In departing. In departing. From the living God. Lest mm. that heart is in you and leaving God. That's right. That's right. If you leave God, you left everything. Oh, yes. Many of you watching now and listening, you left God, many of you. Oh, yes. Many of the churches, the organizations out here, left God. That's right. Church is unrecognizable. That's right. Many of the churches, that many of us came out of. We witnessed the change. Yeah. We saw when the plague came in church. Yeah. We saw when the standard of God ceased to be lifted. That's right. And when the standard of God ceased to be lifted, the plague increased in God's house. That's right. Now the choirs and the members look and act like sinners. That's right. The preachers become entertainers and they're not preachers no more. That's right. What happened to God House? What happened? It had became a den of thieves. thieves. It's a pleasure palace. That's right. No more. They are about God no more. No more. Do you hear this? Back in Hebrews 3 and verse 12. What did he say? Take heed, brethren. That's what I want to get you to do. Take heed. 
Pay attention. That's it. Thank God because 2024 is on its way here. Yeah. And some of you may backslide next year. That's right. So God want to warn you now. That's right. Glory to God, pay attention. Take heed, brethren. Every island, every country, thank God, every state, every town, every village, the God of heaven wants you to pay attention. That's right. Take heed, brethren. Lest there be a bishop. Take heed. Take heed. So-called apostle, take heed. That's right. Elder and deacon and pastor, all evangelists, take heed. Take heed. Stop playing church. That's right. Stop robbing the people out of their money. That's right. Stop making God house a house for entertainment. That's right. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Take heed. Take heed, brethren. Brethren, lest there be in any of you, be in any of you, an evil heart, an evil heart of unbelief. The Bible tell you what kind of heart it is. Evil heart. Anytime you don't believe what the word of God evil. say, your heart is evil. That's right. When you preachers get over the air and say that in the Bible's not right, and that in the Bible's not right, you have an evil heart. Evil heart. Anytime you got an evil heart, you're not a so-called Christian. That's right. Not at all. That's right. Thank God, God, people that have a good heart believe what the scripture says. That's right. Jesus said, search the Bible, That's search it. the scriptures, for in them you think you have eternal life. Thank God for Hallelujah. day and day which testify of me. Of me. That's it. What did he say? Take heed, brethren. Take heed, brethren. Lest there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief. Now. Hallelujah. The moment something in the Bible you don't believe, it won't fall on, the unbelief spreads. spreads. Are you listening? That's right. Thank God. That unbelief begins to spread. I don't believe in the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. It won't be for long. You're not going to believe in the Holy Ghost speaking in town. Right. It won't be for long. You're not going to believe it's one church. No. It won't be for long. You won't believe that God never called a sinner woman to preach the gospel. Right. It won't be for long. You're going to stop believing Jesus Christ as God Almighty. That's right. It won't be for long. So much of the Bible you will throw away. No way. You know, they start in a new cur t teaching curriculum in school. Satanism. Lord. It's becoming a new teaching curriculum. My Lord. Satanism. Hmm. And folk wonder why I preach like I do. Oh, yes. I can't help myself. Amen. God says, quell up! Right. God and spare not. If Satanism, Satanism is a school curriculum, my Lord, my Lord. Then they are teaching your children how to be evil at a young age. That's right. You cannot teach Satanism and then the child love God. No way. The child grow to be haters of God. That's right. And because Satan is so appealing to the world. Oh yes. Thank God more and more. The church becoming worldly. 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 That's right. And there was two old women that came in here while we was in here working the other day. And they was talking to my electrical engineer. Brother David, I went over there and said, can I help you? He introduced him. He said, this is the pastor. She said, I'm glad to meet you. They both shook my hand. One used to be a member of this church when it was Catholic in the 1940s. Thank God. And the other was a member in the 1960s. She said, I noticed you took the kneelers. There's nowhere to kneel uh, under the benches. I said, yes, it is. It's the floor. <laughs> she said, y'all kneel on the floor? I said, yes, we do. She said, I'm going to try it. I said, go ahead. <laughs> she got down there. She said, it's comfortable down here. He said, I love what you've done to the church. Wonderful. I can't believe it. You have balconies. There wasn't no balcony here when I was here. She said, where's the pipe organ? I said, in the trash. <laughs> Thank God it wasn't quick enough for us. Amen. 
She said, I'll be back. I said, you come on back. Thank God we got something good and very good to tell you. Amen. Human family, the purpose of the church, or should I say the purpose that's supposed to be of the church is the same purpose like it was in the days of Noah. Noah preached and Methuselah preached. And Methuselah. That is going to rain. Yeah. Glory to God, it doesn't matter because they did not believe it. No. God declared that it's going to rain no. and he wasn't a God that word don't come to pass. That's right. They fought the man of God, didn't yeah. believe it. Thank God, they didn't find it necessary to believe it. But by the time they became believers, it was too late. Too late. Rain descend, hallelujah. Glory to God, from God out of heaven. That's right. The foundations of the deep broken were broken up. up. Water descended from on high. That's right. They banged and banged on the door of Noah, and Noah told them, and How God gave them. Listen at this. In the book of Joshua, chapter 6, we're at verse 16. What is it? And all the sons of men that were left upon the earth yes. became exhausted. They became exhausted. Through evil. Through evil. On account of the rain. You know, evil will exhaust you. That's right. I know you out there that are listening, you're not tired yet. That's right. But thank God a day is coming where all your evil, That's you're going right. to get tired of it. Oh, yeah. They're going to wear off. Oh, yeah. I'm looking at many that are here now. The evil they used to indulge in, they got tired of it. Amen. Huh? Amen. Tired of it. That's right. Thank God got tired of Hallelujah. constantly getting ready to go to the club they lost their desire for. That's Hallelujah. Right. Huh? That's right. Got tired of it. Amen. Thank God got tired Hallelujah. of how liquor tastes. Got tired. How Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How cigarette tastes. Got tired of fornicating. Got tired of lying. Glory be to God. That's right. Tired of it. That's right. Why? Hallelujah. Do it. Hallelujah. God Almighty Hallelujah. start dealing with the heart. Hallelujah. And when God start dealing with the heart, you become tired of sin. That's right. Go, Hallelujah. That's right. You become tired of sin. Amen. Why? God, get it with your heart. Hallelujah. Do you hear what the word of God says? And all the sons of men that were all left upon the earth. All the sons of men. That were left upon the earth. That were left upon the earth. Became exhausted through evil. They became tired through, through evil. On account of the rain. On account of the rain. For the waters were coming more violently You know what that means? That means even all the evil they were committing. That's right. They didn't want to stop That's because right. it was raining. That's right. And here it is raining in the water, flooding, and they were still trying to find a way to be the devil. And Noah with a loud voice answered them from the ark. Noah with a loud voice answered them. Saying, have you not all, have you not at all rebelled against the Lord? Hear me world, Amen. hear this. Have you not all rebelled against you the Lord? You out there that are listening. That's right. Have ye not all rebelled? Governments of the world. That's right. Congress, That's right. all parliaments, all organizations, political factions. That's right. Have ye not rebelled against the Lord? Have ye not all? The world. That's right. I'm preaching to the world tonight. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Lord, God Hallelujah. ain't talking to no one state. I'm talking to the world. That's right. The whole world That's right. have rebelled. Against the Lord. And rebelled against God. That's right. Eh? And said that he does not exist. They said what? And said that he does not exist. That's you out there. That's right. Hallelujah. The Bible said the fool have said in his heart, there is no God. That's right. That's the way the churches has become. That's right. Like God don't exist. That's right. You know, when you live like God exists, fear is fear. there. Amen. When you fear God, no dancing like the world in church. That's right. Why? Hallelujah. I'm scared of God. That's right. Hey, That's hallelujah. Right. I won't have 
have what the world has. Amen. Thank God, no way in church. That's right. Because I fear the Almighty God. That's right. What did he say here? Have ye not all rebelled against the Lord? Have ye not all did it? And said that he does not exist? That's the why, that's why religion is in the condition it's in now. Oh, yes. Viewers, that's why you're in the condition that you're in now. Oh, you yes. have rebelled against God. That's right. You rebelled. Many of you watch this webcast and look at you, look how mad and angry you get. Hey Amen, <laughs> you're cussing and hollering and lying. And call me the Antichrist, you can call me whatever you want. That's the right. thing you better do is get ready to repent of your sin. Amen. Because the God of heaven is coming back. <laughs> Amen, and Jesus Christ is he. That's it. He came in the flesh. That's right. Thank God the spirit of Christ was in the prophets right. and testified beforehand of the sufferings of Christ. That's right. And when he came and tabernac tabernacling in the flesh and walked that flesh for a temporary time, he left us an example that we should follow his steps. His steps. He come along and chose men and made them apostles and told them, go in the other world. That's right. And preach the gospel every to creature. every creature. No matter where they at, preach to them. That's right. Just tell them what I said. That's it. And when you tell them what God said, you can't go wrong. That's right. And now here's the world, the world, the world. Have you not all rebelled against the Lord? Have you not all rebelled? Think of it. Hmm. Every politician, Democrat and Republican, oh, every yes. government under the sun, yeah. the word of God says what? Have you not all rebelled against the Lord? Look at you. Amen. Hear us. Many of you watching now, amen. amen, you are in a state of rebellion. Oh, yes. Rebelling against God. Oh, yes. Saying there is no God. Amen. Saying God is not real. That's right. Saying God is only for blacks only. That's right. Others of you saying God is only for whites. That's right. Others of you saying God only love Israel. <laughs> Others of you saying God only love Palestine. That's right. My God, how blind did you wow. come? Amen, the God that made the heavens and the earth and the sea and everything therein when it came in the flesh, thank Hallelujah. God. He hath the apostles right that God so loved the world. Love the world. Huh? And whosoever. Glory to God. Amen. God loved the world. That's right. Thank man, he put on the body and took that body Hallelujah. to the cross. Amen, and sacrificed it for every sinner Amen. under the sun. They pushed him in the sun. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay. Blood and water. Hallelujah. And God, here he comes saying, it's finished. It's finished. Huh? That's right. It's finished. That's right. God and Rose came on back Go ahead, man. the third day and Go said, ahead. all power. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. All power. It's given me. All power. It's given unto me. It's given unto me. In heaven. In heaven. Go to God and in earth. Go ye therefore. He sent his apostles out. Thank God that covered the entire world. That's right. And that Hallelujah. same thing he gave them. Hallelujah. Thank God to bring man back to God is here now. That's right. That same man is not another. That's right. No, sir. Go to God. Hallelujah. Not another, I said. Go to God. What happened here? Have you not all rebelled against the Lord? Have you not? Rebel. Oh, that God rebelled. I, rebel. That's it. Besides, you churches getting better, you're getting worse. Oh, yes. Huh? Oh, yes. They got worse. That's right. Getting worse all the time. Thank God. Hey, Amen. I'm hearing from thousands, thousands. And some of the ones that used to fight, now they understand what we're talking. Oh, yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah. Hey, Amen. Some confessing, writing me letters of apologies. Wow. Amen. I remember one man wrote me and said, I cussed you out every time I looked at you. <laughs> he said, but now I understand what you've been saying. Wonderful. The Bible said, consider what I said. What I say. And the Lord will give you the understanding right. of all things. You folks haven't waked up yet. You know that church does not supposed to be the way it is now. That's right. That's right. I'm not trying to be a celebrity. No. I'm a preacher. Amen. God ain't never send no celebrity to preach to you. No way. I'm a preacher. That's right. A preacher of righteousness. Righteousness. Hey. That's right. 
God will bring the fire. He will bring the flood on the ungodly. Go ahead. Amen. What did he say, son? Have you not all rebelled, Have against, you not all the rebelled Lord against the Lord and said that he does not exist? And he said God doesn't exist. And therefore the Lord, therefore the Lord brought upon you this evil. Amen. Do you hear this, viewers? Amen. Much evil. Oh. That is in many of your lives who brought it. And, and therefore the Lord brought upon you this evil. Not the devil. The Lord. You that think only the devil bring evil in your life. You're mistaken. <laughs> that, that's right. God of heaven, God of heaven declared. And therefore the Lord brought the upon Lord you this evil. Have brought upon you this, this evil, evil. To destroy and cut you off from among the face of the earth. What? Therefore the Lord brought upon you this evil to destroy and cut you off from the face of the earth. Do you hear? Amen. The Lord. God is cutting man off. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Every day man is being cut off. Oh, yes. Your friends are dying. Yes, your mother is dying. Amen. Your father, your wife, your sons. That's right. Thank God and your daughters. That's right. And yet still you don't still. want to change. Amen. Still out there like a fool. That's right. Amen. Celebrating with the wicked. Oh, yes. What it going to take for you to turn your heart to God? That's it. Amen. The word of God says. And therefore the Lord brought upon you this evil. And what? To destroy and cut you off from the face of the earth. Yes. Is not this the thing that I spoke to you of 120 years back? Now thank God. Amen. Yet me. In the days of Noah, God gave man 120 years, 120 years. to get right, to be holy, to be sanctified, to be obedient. One hundred and twenty years. Twenty years. To live by the holy rule of God. That's right. And the rule of God was prepared for the ark. That's right. Now here we are today. In the last days. And here the world. Religion, politicians. Hear the word of God, and in your mind you believe you can be saved any way you want. Any way. They tell you, you have your wish up, you have your God, I have mine. No, everybody got to have the same Amen. God. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Thank God you got to have the same one. You can't have a God, and I have a God, and somebody else have a God. No. There's only one God of heaven. No. That's right. Amen. He don't partner up with nobody. No. One throne up there. Oh, yes. And there's none sitting on it but him. That's right. Amen. Until the word of God say, heaven is his throne. His throne. Heaven. Heaven is my throne. Can you imagine that? <laughs> Do you hear Isaiah chapter 66 and verse 1. The word of God says, Heaven is my throne. Heaven. 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 Heaven is my throne. Look at the Bible says the heavens and the heavens of heavens. That's right. Thank God cannot contain them. That's right. Less more the house that I build. Thus saith the Lord. Listen, thus saith God. The, the heaven is my throne. What? The heaven is my throne. Just a minute. Let me stretch your understanding. As I said before, don't look at God's throne as a chair. No. No chair can fit God. No. Heaven is my throne. Heaven is my throne. Heaven is where his authority is. That's it. That's right. His authority. That's right. Because the Bible says he's higher than heaven. Higher than heaven. Deeper than hell and broader than the sea. Thank God and longer than the earth. Longer than the earth. Heaven is his throne. That's right. From the throne or from heaven is where God's law comes from. That's right. And it comes down to man. That's right. Thank God so man can live by it. That's it. From the throne from heaven comes judgment, judgment. wisdom, law, precept, statutes, God's word. That's it. And God's understanding. That's right. From God's throne from God's word 
from heaven. That's right. Uh -huh. Thus saith the Lord. What? The heaven is my throne. And? And the earth is my footstool. Just a minute. I want to stretch your understanding. That's it. Because when you don't understand, a fool mm -hmm. will say, it means what it says. Do you <laughs> actually think God's legs are stretched out on a little footstool mm -hmm. resting his feet? That's right. Are you that blind and full of hell? That's right. When the Bible said the clouds are the dust of his feet and look at all the clouds in the world. Amen. Amen. There's clouds outside of the earth. That's right. And yet the Bible said the earth is my footstool. Now, hmm. earth have more than one meaning. That's right. Planet that is created and earth Within the, earth. within the earth we are the earth that's right and the reason why the earth is its footstool because man submits or underneath god's authority that's right amen if earth is its footstool, footstool. then we the human family we're underneath the authority of God. That's right. We have to, hallelujah, take God. Hallelujah. We have to submit to God's authority. That's right. Amen. We are beneath him. That's right. We're not equal to him. We are beneath him. Oh, yeah. Thank God his feet rest upon us. That's right. Amen. And his feet that rest upon us, meaning God will rest upon us. That's it. Uh -huh. That goes to show you how low we are. Yeah. You take a rich man huh. and, uh, if he's resting his feet on you, he don't look at you as much. Oh, no. Man, you are insignificant. <laughs> That's right. Glory to God. That's right. And God's feet rest on you. That's it. Because he know you're nothing but dust that just have the breath in your nostrils. Oh, yes. And God made you for his glory. For his glory. He didn't make you for the glory in yourself. No. He made you for his glory. For his glory. He made you to sing for him and worship him and pray to him and right. live for him. And he wants you to repent of all your sins and That's right. be baptized in water. That's Thank right. God in the name of Jesus Christ oh, yeah. and receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost and serve him, serve him. all the days of your life. That's right. Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. The heaven is my throne. The heaven is my throne. Is my throne. And the earth is my earth. footstool. Is my footstool. Where is the house that you built unto me? Where? Did you hear that? Amen. Where is the house? That you built unto me. Glory to God that you built to him. And where is the place of my rest? Where is the place of my rest? Go back to where you were, son. Back in Jasher chapter 6 and 8. No, let's leave Jasher and go back. To back the in Hebrews. Thing, in the book of Hebrews. Back in Hebrews chapter 3 and verse 12. All right. Take heed, brethren. Pay attention, brethren. Lest there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief. Now, if your heart start to be unbelief, unbelief. in any way, oh, yeah. your heart is not good. That's right. Evil. Hear me, viewers. Hear this. Hear this. When you hear the word of God says repent, mm -hmm. repent, repent. That's right. And be baptized, every one of you. I don't care what organization or church you're in. No. If you don't believe that, your heart is evil. An evil heart. Bible said it was all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues right. as the Spirit gave utterance. Right. If you believe you receive the Holy Ghost any other way, any other, other way. than the Word of God, your heart is evil. That's right. The Bible says, Hear, O Israel, thank God the Lord our God is one. one. If you believe something other than that, your heart is evil. evil heart. Thomas said to Jesus when Hallelujah. Jesus rose from the dead, My Lord and my God. And my God. That's right. You don't believe he's Lord and, and God. God, your heart is evil. That's right. Hey, take heed, brother. Take heed. Lest there be in any of you. So return. God, you Amen. better check yourself out. That's right. Look at yourself, preacher, 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 church goer. That's right. Thank God, look at yourself. Oh, yeah. The word of God speaks plain here. Take heed, brethren. Take heed, brethren. Lest there be in any of you. You know, God only have one church. Oh, yeah. And everybody should believe the same thing, same. practice the same thing, do the same thing. That's right. God ain't never move on nobody to do anything different from his holy will. 
No way. And his holy word. No way. Do you get what I'm telling you? Take heed, brethren. Pay attention, world. Lest there be in any of you. Lest there be in any of you. An evil heart. A evil heart. Of unbelief. Are you guilty tonight? Hallelujah. Is there something in the Bible? Something in the scriptures? In the scriptures. You no longer believe. That's right. That's right. Now you out there that say you got a revelation, I don't mm -hmm. care who you are, that are listening. Amen. God have never given man revelation to disbelieve, disbelieve the book of truth. No way. Am I right, man? That's right. God have never, That's right. have, yeah, 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 God, That's right. have never given nobody, nobody a revelation. No to disbelieve what the word of God says. That's right. Jesus said, search the scriptures. Search the scriptures. Didn't he say so? That's right. Search, search the, scriptures. the scriptures. Search the scriptures. Never mind poetry and all that stuff. Right. Search. Search the scriptures. The scriptures. Right. Never mind the manuscripts that your pastor wrote. No, sir. No, sir. Search. Search the scriptures. The scriptures. For in them. In them. Ye think ye have eternal life. Let my eternal life lie in the scriptures. And they are they. They are they. Which testify of now me. Now the prophets and the apostles testified of Jesus. That's right. And their testimony is true. That's right. And anybody come along today that testify anything different anything. from what they testified is not true. Oh, no. The Bible said, I testify unto every man That's right. that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man, if any man shall add unto shall, these things. Yeah, yeah. Do you hear this? Revelation 22 and verse 18. Hear this? Well, well that's it. If any man, if any man shall add, add unto these things, to these things, God shall add unto him. God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. God gonna plague him. And if any man, you see, you out there said men can marry men, women can marry women. You right. add it. That's right. Oh yes, you did. You add it. That's right. God gonna plague you. God shall add unto him the plagues. Hey, Amen. You can praise Israel all you want. Thank God for any time they had transvestites right. and homosexuals parading down the streets of Jerusalem. Amen. Thank God you had it. That's right. You that hear me out there in Australia who justify same-sex marriage, you had it. Add it. That's right. You that are here in America, God said he made the woman for the man, for the man. and yet you say man is a man, you had it. That's right. What? If any man shall oh! Testify. That's right. Unto every man. Oh, it's a God hallelujah. hallelujah. Thank God that's what we're doing tonight. Yes, that's right. We got a testimony here. For I testify. I testify. Unto every man. How much? Every man. Everybody. That heareth the words of the prophecy that of God. God every book. government, every, man. every authority, that's right. every powers on the earth. Got to hear the testimony of Jesus Christ. For I testify. I testify. Unto every man. To every man. That heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. Or to God to hear the words of the prophecy of what? Of this book. That's it. This book. Hallelujah. Hear the words of the prophecy of this book. Of this book. If any man shall add unto these things. Any man. Any man. Any man. That's right. Oh, that God, that got everybody. That's right. Hallelujah. If any man, if any man shall add unto these things, that got the Pope tonight. That's right. Any man. Oh, that God. Amen. Huh? Amen. If any man, if any man shall add unto these things, that got every congressman, that That's got right. the president of the United States, That's that right. lie and claim he a Christian. If any man. Huh? That's right. If any man shall add unto these things. That got Israel's prime minister. Yes. Amen. Amen. Any man. If any man. If any man shall add unto these things. That got Hamas. That's right. That's right. Over to God. Hallelujah. If any man. If any man shall add unto these things. That got every Muslim, every so-called hey, Christian, every Hebrew, Israelite, the goddess and the religious persuasion. If any man, if any man shall add unto these things.
things. If any man any shall man. add unto these things, unto these things, God shall add unto him. What? God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. You say Jehovah. All right. All right. Jehovah going to add unto you the plagues written. That, that's right. Others of you say, Allah. All right. All right. Allah going to add unto you the plagues that are written. That are written. In this book. That's right. I testify. Regardless of your language. Yeah. If any man, if any man shall add unto this Every thing. dictator. Go ahead, brother. Every king. Go ahead. Every politician. That's right. God if, says, if any man, if any man shall add unto these you things, preachers that's trying to water down the reality of God. That's right. Think because you're rich. That's right. You're going to get away with ignoring what God says? I testify unto every man. I testify to who? Unto every man. We are testifying to every man on the planet Earth. That's right. That's right. How you entertain you? us. Go ahead. You ball players, go ahead. You rappers, go ahead, man. You preachers, go ahead. You celebrities, amen. God is talking here. I testify. I testify unto every man, to every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. What is that? If any man shall add unto these things, I don't care who you are. You <laughs> black as the street, white as snow, brown as ginger. Thank God and yellow as butter. That's right. The word of God is talking here. If any man shall add unto these things. What are you going to do about that? Yes. Yes. What can you do about this? What can you do? Amen. The God of heaven laid down law. That's right. Precept upon precept, line upon line. He a little and there a little. That's right. Sent the prophets out of head of his coming in the flesh. And then the apostles came after he arrived in the flesh. But he laid the groundwork to his disciples. That's right. And left everything on record. And then when he died to come back, he opened up their understanding yeah. to be sure. Yes, that's that right. Have it right. That's right. That's right. And one of those disciples was the apostle John. That's right. And John said, I testify. I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy you of the You see, we're not afraid. Amen. To hurt your feelings. Amen. We don't care about the feelings of the world. That's right. If God make a declaration. That's right. And you men are afraid to stand up for this God. Amen then you don't need to be in the pulpits of the churches. That's right. God said, who will stand up, who will for, me? Stand up for me? Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Who will do it? Oh, yes. Who will stand up for me? Stand up for me. God declared by the prophet, cry out. That's right. Who is yes. that God is spared not? Yeah, not. Hallelujah. You men want to be celebrities and entertainers and just have a good time and appease the public and appease right. talk show hosts. That's right. I ain't trying to appease nobody um, but God himself. That's right. Are you listening? For I testify unto every man that what? That heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man. If any man shall add unto these things. If any man add unto these things. God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. I don't want God plagues. No, no. He fixed it so we don't have to be plagued. That's right. Manifested in the flesh and left a perfect example. That's right. That we should follow his steps. His steps. He left a pattern of good works. Yes, That's right. Demonstrated it so well, so perfect. Oh, yes. And when he taught his apostles, his precepts, his, his doctrine. Oh, yes. And then they labored in word and doctrine. And doctrine. Left it on record so we know have to deviate to the left or to the right. That's right. And then warn you. Oh, yes. In case you deviate. Take heed, brother. The whole world has deviated. Oh, yes. We're laboring to bring as many millions. <laughs> that's, that's right. Never mind just hundreds. Oh, no. We're laboring to bring millions. That's that's right. Back to God. That's right. Come on back. That's right. 
Come on back to God. Amen. And in order to come back to God, you've got to drop your tradition. Oh, yes. Huh? Oh, yes. Ignore your organization. Don't look at the organization you're in. Look at God. That's right. And when I look at God, thank God I'm going to look at Scripture. That's right. And everybody have to come back to Scripture and do it God's way. His way. Until God says the error, because they know not the not Scripture, the nor the power of God. That's right. Whatsoever things were written, 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 written. aforetime, was written for our learning, our learning that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures, the scriptures. Oh, it's like God might have hope that's it eh? take heed brethren take heed brethren lest there be in any of you an lest evil heart lest it be the name of God lest there be in any of you an evil heart, an evil of, heart unbelief of unbelief in departing and leaving from the living God our God is living oh yes he's a living God living God Hallelujah. Uh, he never died. No. Get me. <laughs> I said God never died. That's right. Well, you preach Jesus Christ as God. That's right. That's but right. God never died. Yeah. Amen. God was in that body. Then when the body died, he stepped on out the body like a man pulled off his clothes. That's right. Spirit stepped on out and left the robe of flesh hanging there. That's right. And then, then the spirit went to the lower parts of the earth for three days and three nights, preaching, preaching. to the spirits in prison. That's right. Thank God that in the third day, the spirit got back in the same body yeah. that consists of flesh and bones and glorified. glorified it. Made it just like the spirit that yes. got in it. Right, yeah. right. Thank God that he came on back having the same look, shape, form, and fashion that he had before he died. That's right. Are you listening? That's it. Take heed, brethren. Take heed, brethren. You that are watching, hear, hear, yes. hear the old man. Amen. 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 This word of God that's written here is for every family under the sun. You okay. have left God and you left him by the millions. Oh, yes. Your pastor, your bishops, your churches, your organizations. Just look at it. Yep. They have conventions and then they have a time where they have a comedy skit. <laughs> that's right. Comedy skit. In churches and people just sit there falling out laughing, laughing. at people hypocriting. That's right. Human family, God is real business. Oh yes. God is sincere business. Oh, yes. God is not mocked. Amen. And God is not to be played with. That's right. This is what you must do to enter into the kingdom of God. That's right. God told Nicodemus when he was here in the flesh, the Messiah, oh, yes. Jesus, the Messiah, yes. meaning one that fulfilled the prophets. Right. Jesus, son of David, meaning one that come out the house of David. That's right. Jesus, the Redeemer, yes. one that brings man back to God. That's right. Jesus, the Savior, yes. one that come rescue man yes. from his sins. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Get what I'm telling you. Jesus answered and said unto him. Give chapter and verse. St. John chapter 3, and we're at verse 3. That's what? Jesus answered and said unto him. Said unto him. Verily, verily, I say unto thee. I say truly, unto thee. Truly, truly, I say to you. Except a man be born again. Except a man be born again. He cannot see the kingdom of God. You that are watching and you that are here, they haven't obeyed this. Oh, yes. Whether you're in this beautiful sanctuary or downstairs auditorium, thank God, or in the new, or in the gymnasium. Right. You know, the, uh, they said, I was thinking the other night, I was saying, uh, you that's standing up there in the gym, you're gonna march over here and be baptized. I, I, I wasn't aware that the pool over in the gym was working. <laughs> so you got brothers in the gym baptizing over there, and Amen. you got brothers over here baptizing over here. Amen. So we can catch you wherever you are. Amen. What did he say, son? Jesus answered and said unto him, What? Verily, verily, I say unto thee. Verily, verily, I say unto thee. Except a man be born again. Except he, a man, thank God, is born again. He cannot see the kingdom of God. Now, hear me, viewers, Amen. and you that are here. Do you want to see God's kingdom? That's it. If you want to see God's kingdom, I advise you. <coughs> Repent of your sins. Repent. 
when you're born of the water, Jesus said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except, except a man except be a man. born of water. Give chapter and verse again. St. John chapter 3, now we're at verse 5. Except a man is born of water. And of the Spirit. You know, when I look at this, it looked like a throwback to the 1930s. <laughs> That's right. And I look at these beautiful people dressed sanctified and holy and ready to Wonderful. walk. Wonderful. God. Wonderful. Man, I had so many brothers ask me, where in the world you get these old looking mics? These mics were from the 1920s. Amen. And I went searching and looking for them, and uh, they redesigned their new. And they're not old and redone it. They made new ones that look like the old. Wonderful. And I stand here and look at them old looking things and look at you, I feel like I'm about 80 years back. <laughs> Amen. Huh? Amen. Amen. Viewers, understand this. Your life will come to an end. Oh, yes. You bear in mind, many of you that are watching and listening now, you're not going to see 2024. No. Not at all. No. You're going to go to your New, Year's, your New Year's Eve party, and your friend going to drink herself or himself to death. That's right. Your mama going to die. Yes. And your daddy. Amen. Your husband gonna be dead. You are gonna roll over to kiss him. That's right. And you're not gonna get a response. That's right. Some of you gonna go in your baby's room. My Lord, my Lord. And your baby gonna be in the crib, and you gonna think it's sleep. Lord. But God have taken it out of time into his turn, into eternity. That's right. I'm warning you. That's right. The truth of God is a message of warning in the earth. Amen. It's a necessary warning. Amen. I'm warning you. Amen. Repent. 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 It's a necessary warning. That's right. Repent. And be baptized every And one be of you. baptized every here, 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 Bishop. You got to come out the pulpit, pull off your robe or keep it on and go down in water in the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. All of you that wasn't baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, you're not saved, never been never saved been. until you do it just like God said it. That's right. By his apostles. Then Peter said unto them. What? Then Peter said unto them. In Acts chapter 2 and verse 38. What did he say? Then Peter said unto them, repent. He didn't tell you to join no church. No. Bow your head and raise your hands and accept no. Christ where you are. That's right. Pray a sinner's prayer. <laughs> Amen. He didn't say that. No. Many of you watching now, you done saw some old fake preacher on television and he told you touch the screen and you thought God somehow came from your flat screen in your arm. <laughs> All right. you got was a warm shoulder. That's right. What did he say, son? Then Peter said unto them, repent. Repent. And be baptized, every one of you. Everybody under the sun, every politician, every dictator, every king, every queen. That's right. Every member of parliaments in the world, That's every right. congressman, every bishop, thank God, every dog catcher, every fireman. Amen. Amen. Every policeman walking around, that you got this to do. That's right. The Holy Ghost says. Repent. Repent. And, and be, be sorry about your wrong. That's it. You that are here, be sorry, be sorry if you haven't obeyed this. That's right. This is for you too. That's right. Repent. Be that's sorry. That's it. Be convicted. Ready to change. Oh, yeah. You know what sorry is. You remember when you were a child and that father was going to reach for that belt lay it upon your backside for doing wrong. Amen. The moment you saw your father, you know, the moment I saw my father, I, and he got a whiff of the wrong I'd done, <laughs> I was sorry before I saw the belt. That's right. Because I knew the judge was coming. That's it. Viewers, That's it. the judge of all judges are coming. Oh, yes. You can play the devil and play around and say, I've been hearing that for years. years. I don't believe that no more, Pastor Jennings. I used to be in that stuff. You wasn't in this. No, no. Lord, thank God, whatever you was in, and it wasn't this. That's right. Huh? That's right. You wasn't in this. No. Thank God, this is that. This is that. Lord, thank God. That's right. Huh? That's right. God! Thank God through Joel. That's this it. is that. 
that was spoken by the prophet Joel. That's right. Repent. Repent and be baptized every and one of you. baptized every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. For the remission of sins. For to get your sins removed. And ye shall receive the gift of the and Holy Ghost. And you'll be filled with the Holy Ghost. See, when you go down in water in the name of Jesus Christ, don't, don't think of the Holy Ghost as next year gift. No, no. You think of the Holy Ghost as right now. Right now. That's right. That's right. Huh? That's right. Amen. You're, you're looking too far off. Amen. The Bible says, nigh thee. Nigh thee. Amen. Look at Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at it right here. That's right. He said, repent and be baptized, every one of you. In the Thank name of God, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins. And ye shall receive the and gift of the Holy Ghost. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Why shall I obtain it? For the promise is unto you. Stop waiting the next year. That's right. Stop waiting the next week. That's right. And stop looking for tomorrow. That's right. Look right now. For the promise is unto you. Promise is unto you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The promise is unto you and to your children. And to all that are far off. Everything that is far away from here. Even as many as the Lord our God shall call. The Bible says the Lord has spoken. Oh, yes. He hath called the whole earth from the rising of the sun. Hallelujah. Glory to God to the going down thereof. Now, Amen. anybody here tonight that are listening in, in the lower auditorium here, in the main auditorium, and the gymnasium that want to be baptized and walk with God in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Stand on your feet now if you want it. Amen. Amen. Follow Amen. those brothers and follow those sisters. Pass. Hallelujah. Be not potent to save. Savior. Hear my heart, oh Christ. Yes, why? Yes, do not pass. I'm singing.
everlasting God, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you. All of them that desire prayer, touch their bodies. Move by the effectual working of thine great power. Give them the desires of their heart. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Men, what is broken? Straighten out in their life what is crooked. Eternal God, hear us from heaven tonight. Thank you. Yes, God that knoweth all things. We ask you to look upon your people and bless them. Let your healing virtue be upon all of them. Supply their every need according to your riches and glory. His blessings we ask in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us remain, let everybody stand that's not standing. We're going to close. Give me that hand to go right there. Eternal God, we thank you for this day here. Thank you for being a God of your word. Bless your people. Continue to add daily such as should be saved. Strengthen us in the time of weakness. Build us up every place where we're torn down. Whatever we ask from you, according to your will. Give it unto us. Hallelujah! Men that were minds, them that are watching and listening, thank God whatever they desire. Give them healing. Fill the seekers with the Holy Ghost. Thank you. And the Spirit of God give us rest. Oh God, give us all a safe journey to our separate places. Until we come back on tomorrow, be in the service. Let your anointing fall from on high. Hallelujah. Glory to God. These blessings we ask in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let everyone say amen. amen. Thank God. <laughs>